Okay, um, into here again. Um, I'm going to do a quick demo just to demonstrate again setting up Cinema Machine, um, how to render VA, V ray scenes, V ray max similar scenes in Unity. Um, it's a lot faster to render, you can still get high, achieve high quality results. Um, you can bring across all the V ray materials. Um, it's easier to navigate through the scene. It's definitely easier to teleport instead of VR. Um, it's a, 10 times faster to render out a sequence of frames, um, full HD 4K or 8K frames, which uh, are built up in, as a sequence of Targa and JPEG files, um, which can be brought then into a compositor like After Effects. That's where I composite the sequence, add some sound, and render out an MP4. Um, usually I would use this approach even when I'm doing a VR build of a scene is, is to show the client uh, a fly through or a walk through of the scene um, as it would be in VR in Unity with the post processing and that post processing translates across into VR into the headset with the Oculus, the Vive or Mixed Reality. So anyway, let's begin. So um, here I'll just show you a scene. Um, here's a scene that I have set up already, Cinema Machine. Cinema Machine is here on top. I showed a video before where you got to go into Package Manager, choose Cinema Machine and install. And here I've set up the cameras. It's just a sequence of six cameras, six virt virtual cameras. And we press play, play in game mode. And you got a two second pause and then you got your transition in between for three seconds okay and you've got some motion blur as is rendering um, depth of field also is turned on and you can see that effect motion blur and depth of field and then I can test if 30 seconds is too long if not I can just Shorten the timestamp of each of these clips. I can render it 20 seconds, but basically this will render, I'd say maybe in 10 minutes, um, a couple of thousand frames. And you have, I explained in another video before, you have two ways to, to render. You can render using Octane, which comes with Unity in the asset store, or I use a script here. So I just turn on the script and it will render uh, full 4K target files in the sequence. Okay, so that's just to show you very quickly, just pan through and pause that, take it back, take it back out. So in game mode, and it's quite easy. Okay, um, so here is a fresh scene. Um, there's a fresh scene of, of a cafe, the interior of a cafe. Um, already the FBX is in place, all the textures are done. So, if you want to set up cinema machine up here, you got all your different camera moves. But very quickly, how to do it is to you have to set up a an empty game object that you can attach a timeline to. So, select the empty game object. I like to name it a. Uh, Cine scene, okay, cinematic scene or cinema machine scene. Uh, move your camera, your main camera, up to the top. So this is your scene, this is your camera, and these are all your props and FBXs. Select everything and drop it inside that game object as children. And now you've got your um, cinema, cinema machine scene, and you got to set up your timeline. So sequence timeline grab the timeline down <coughs> uh, to begin a new timeline with sim machine correct uh, to create a director yes we're going to create a director for the full cinema scene and I created one before so I'm going to call it cinema scene 2 there we go that's it we have our timeline ready for animation so now we just need to set up the cameras so right click down here in the project view set up a cinema machine brain script 
open up your scene grab well before you got to do that click on your cinema scene uh, cinema scene game game object lock it down choose your camera drop your camera into the slot right click and set up a cinema machine slot create that'll create a, a virtual camera your first virtual camera and um, here you got frames per second let's change that to seconds so it's a five second slot next one time machine create a virtual camera and you got a five second slot again so and turn it on so here we have two virtual cameras it's the first virtual camera it's the second one we're going to the first one we're in scene edit mode and where do we want our camera to begin maybe like maybe like so okay just ch checking to see if our camera is post processing yeah okay and now it will have a cinema machine brain script at the bottom okay so select that's the camera director this is the virtual camera select your first camera in scene view choose where you want to start the camera the field of view and the angle and perspective control shift f okay that's it in game mode click on the virtual camera go into lens and check the focal length oh check the field of view okay once you're happy with that field of view that's camera one locked down so and camera two if we move forward in our scene okay just say that's camera two control shift f Okay, so go into game mode, check those two cameras, that's it. Now, we want to tween between camera 1 and camera 2. Pull and tween. We'll set it for, let me see, we'll set it for 2 seconds. Where it's still, and then a tween animation up until 7 seconds. And then say for a second and a half, it will pause at that position. Down again quickly. Cinema machine. Create virtual camera. You got virtual camera three. Turn it on. And back into scene mode. Okay, and choose whichever. Okay, we'll just choose this angle for a moment. Um, I haven't worked out a storyboard script for this this scene, but I'm just just for demo purposes, we'll choose this camera. Three again, scene mode, shift, control, shift, F. Check it. Okay, check it. Check the field of view. You like the field of view for the animation? Okay, nice and pull it back pull the tween between so you got two seconds boom across a few seconds save cinema machine shut slot and create a virtual camera four turn on camera four go into scene mode Okay, I'm going to lock that one off, Control shift f pull it back, between, check it in game mode, uh, okay, okay, it's a little bit, see the way it's hitting this furniture here, so just choose virtual camera 4 again. Go to C mode and just kind of pull it back here. Okay. Lock that camera. Take it in. And now 
Okay, now we're fitting through the the opening. And one more. Create a virtual camera. So occasion okay, so virtual camera five, and turn it on. Okay, and back to scene. There, there. Let me see. We can focus. Maybe hmm. Let's focus on a view from the bar. Choose your virtual camera. Lock your point of view. Pull it back. Pull the tween between. Um, say we're going to finish it at 23 seconds. Okay, into game mode. We'll save that so far. And so. Oh. Back to scene five. Okay. So now if we press play. Voila. There we go. Um and that's your cinema machine sequence animation. And you can adjust fine tune the the uh, motion blur, the depth of field, um to focus in on objects on the table. And yeah, that's just a sample. Um, how to use Cinema Machine. Um, it's pretty similar to the other tutorial that I put up before. Just remember to set your scene, then your camera, and then your virtual cameras. Just like so. Okay. And then again, adjusting your post process. Okay. A lot of tweaking in here. Each scene you need to tweak. There's no default. Um, for interior, exterior scenes, sure. So as long as you have the post process volume in the hierarchy stack, and actually the yeah, that's fine. Okay, and the main camera, and I've got the. Cinema machine, I need to add. Ah, I need to go into project, I need to go into scripts, and what I need to do from my from my own libraries is to drag in this video capture script that I created. It'll just export a sequence of JPEG or target files to a screenshot folder um, within the project file. And just like here, there's a sample, there's your assets, there's your project folder, and then a screenshot folder is created, and then you get a sequence, um, high resolution 4K still image. Okay, so we got that in here, back into the camera, add component, video exporter. And once you get it ticked, maximize on play, press play, and then that animation will be recorded as a sequence on the desktop or in your project folder. And believe me, it renders very fast. So um, that's it. We won't, we'll just take it off for now. Okay, and that's uh, that's an interior cafe scene with V-Ray materials inside Unity, and again, this is just for a, for a um, a video marketing promo. Um, if I want the clients to step inside in VR, I just got to go into the asset store, download Steam VR, open up the sample demo scene, put in the the teleportation area, but make sure you get the box colliders, put box colliders in the walls and stuff like that, so you just don't walk through the walls. And then you can teleport around, set up your UI as well, if you want to kind of, when you hover over, UI labels on parts of the restaurant, whatever. 
Okay, guys, I guess it's pretty pretty uh, late on a Sunday night here. Wind storm blowing outside here in Galway. Um, that's it. Um, yeah, it's a beauty. So after this tutorial, I'm going to try and do the same as well in the Unreal Engine. Um, is there anything else I need to show you from here? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, that's it. Okay. Um, yeah, thanks for your attention. And hopefully a little tad bit of information there might have helped someone. Okay. Let's end it. Over and out. Bye.